Good morning, super cool party people. It's just before 10. <laughs> Work. And I've been up for like an hour just not getting out of bed. I actually woke up at 6 again today, so I think jet lag is still with me because I was out like at 11 o'clock last night. I was like, I am done for the day, and I was like, out cold, um, and then up at 6. So that's something I still need to work on because I don't want to be about getting up at 6 in the morning. That is just this is too early. But I think plans for presently, well, good day, not the greatest English. My first plans of the day are going to be to have some breakfast, I think. Um, and then we need to have a productive day today. I did have a dream about getting my hair cut, so maybe that means I should go get my hair cut. But it was also really weird, like the, you know when you get your hair cut and they wash it, and, or like even if you're in the chair and they like pump it up? And this one, it like, the hair washing place was on the second level, but they pumped up the chair to the second level and then the floor slid in, I guess. I thought I was going to fall out and die at one point. And then it's just very weird dreams. Uh, around that as well, but it's all good. Anyway, I need to find my glasses. They should be beside my bed because I can't actually see very well right now. And them some breakfast and we'll see what happens today. Productive things, hopefully. Hopefully. So I totally remembered after the last clip that I have to bake bread today. And I haven't baked bread since we moved, so I have no idea where my recipe is. I used to just have one in the kitchen. So I had to find my recipe, but my recipe is from like 2009, <laughs> so I had to figure out what hard drive it was on, but I got it, so that's good. And um, still need to figure out what I want to have for breakfast, because I am quite peckish, but that's a three hour process, so I need to start that pretty soon here. Also, biscuits from last night. So hard now. Still smell good. So hard though. Slight change of plans. I decided that I really wanted fries and gravy, so I'm walking to the store to get fries because Pam and I had some in the States and it just wasn't the same. Their gravy's not the same. So, priorities. <laughs> okay, so food was successfully acquired, which is great. Crinkle cut fries. I could have made fries, but. They're not as good as crinkle cut fries when it comes to fries and gravy. Crinkle cut are some of the best. Pro tip for you there. Anyways, I'm going to cook some food now and then get on the bread and then uh, work on writing stuff. I should really work on writing stuff. Yeah, probably. Okay, so stage one, I guess stage one and stage two of bread is complete. Um, it's rising in the bowl right now. Got about an hour until I have to punch it and then it gets to rise again for an hour. So I'm gonna come downstairs. I still haven't had my fries and gravy. I made myself a quick snack, but fries and gravy will definitely be happening probably within the next half an hour because come on, why are we putting that off so long. But yeah, I figured I'd just take a moment. Maybe I'll make my bed. I won't. I definitely won't, but we can pretend. Alrighty, back upstairs we go, and it is time to check on the bread. I think I have about 15 minutes before it like needs to be dealt with, but I put it in front of the fire because it's got to be warm. But it has risen quite a bit. Boop. So that is looking promising. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna get the deep fryer ready so I can eat my fries and gravy once I punch that down because then I have another hour to wait so that's the thing about making bread is it's not super involved but it takes a super long time so yeah I guess I'll pull out the deep fryer and then in T minus 12 minutes punch some bread I don't know why I made this many fries I'm not even that hungry but yeah fries and gravy like seriously like that's a big bowl. I'm sure it'll be delicious though, and then like first thing I have to do before I start eating is send a picture to Pam and be like, haha, I'm having good fries and gravy, not your American brown gravy. Weird, it was, it didn't taste that great. It was all right, but it ain't this. <laughs> Look at that, one of the most satisfying things. <laughs> 
Oh, bread. All right, time to get this into pans. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the bread is baking, actually baking now instead of just doing its rising thing. Uh, I got about 20 minutes, give or take, could be like 25 depending. Uh, so I'm gonna go downstairs because my iPad I've been watching shows on is almost dead and I wanna lay down because I'm tired. <laughs> I've done too much today. I've done like nothing, but still not quite back on track, I guess, from my trip, which is, you know, fine, kind of to be expected. I just really want to nap. So I set a timer down here too in case I pass out in the next like 20 minutes so I won't burn the bread and then probably burn down the house. So yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna chill for a couple. It's fine. Okay, bread is made. My mom's boyfriend came over and grabbed a loaf because I texted him and was like, come get the bread. And now I think I'm gonna try to have a nap before we go out for dinner for my sister-in-law's birthday. So here's hoping it works. Okay, so <laughs> I have changed into real clothes, which is exciting for me because I never do that. I'm not liking what's going on with my hair, but that's all good. I think we're leaving in the next probably five minutes, so I guess this is what it's gonna be. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be good. I think it's just us and another one of our friends, but my room has just become a disaster again, and I'm not really sure how, but it is what it is. Anyways, it's just after midnight now. We went out for dinner. I think that was the last time I picked up the camera. And then we came back and we played a Dungeons and Dragons board game called Lords of Waterdeep. Um, and then we just hung out and chatted for a while. And um, yeah, so um, sleepy. Which means that it is now time to edit my vlog and go to sleep so I can be well rested. It's like crazy stormy and windy outside right now. Like, it is nuts. There's a wind warning, of course. Um, so hopefully power doesn't go out or anything crazy like that. Um, but yeah, so I guess with that I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure, though I don't even really remember what happened today anymore. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night. Thank you.